The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, welcome to the Christmas Eve edition of TFNN, and happy holidays to everybody around the world, whatever holiday you uh, go through. But Merry Christmas to most of the people here in the United States and across the world. Uh, first chart we looked at, of course, is the German DAX. It is closed today. And if you'll see the second chart, which is the FTSE, it's closed at half a day. And so it's almost closed uh, right now as we go. Boys and girls, you know, I've been doing this business for a long time, and I've uh, brought you a lot of different information, some of it good, some of it bad, but, uh, you know, it's all based on technical analysis. That's, that's all I can tell you. There's no fundamentals involved, but I'll tell you one thing. Something is happening up there in the North Pole because uh, the elves are acting a little bit differently. Let me post you something here to take a look at these figures, folks. I... I, I <laughs> I was so shocked today that I, and I'm not shocked at all, but this this really shocked me. Take a look at the open interest figures as we look at these from the Chicago Mercantile yesterday. You'll notice the E-mini Russell futures, okay? You'll see that the actual open interest is 486,000 and it dropped 78,000. That's 20, almost 20% in one day. Look at the Dow E-mini futures, okay? You see 103,000 dropped 20% a day. Folks, that's that's a big percentage. That's a very big percentage. Well, let's go to the Big Daddy Rabbit and see what it did. We're going to take a look at the S&P 500 now, and also we're going to look at the NASDAQ. So we're going to come up here, post these in here. We're all ready to take a look at. Yeah, they must be filling in stockings. Okay, here is the E-mini futures for the NASDAQ. What did they drop? 20%, uh, 55,000. Take a look at this one, baby. Look at this. The E-mini futures. You see that OMG? You know what that means. Look at this. 63,000 contracts went down. When open interest goes down and prices goes up, that's, for, that's short covering, folks. The people are leaving the restaurant. Pay it attention to that or maybe not i don't care maybe it's wrong all i know is this has to be checked and i'm going to be checking it this morning just as soon as we finish the show here i'm going to call the merc to make sure those figures are correct and i'll check them again tonight but if those figures are correct boys and girls pay very close attention to your long positions because with this big of drop in open interest that means that there's not many buyers left I sure the market's still going up, and they should be going up because open interest goes higher, you know, and uh, uh, and, and and it's bullish, yes, but this is not the case. That 600. Ah, slow down, Larry. Let's move on to something else. I will finish the sentence. That 636,000 open interest was five times bigger than any open interest interest increase we've had since this whole thing started. 55,000 was the largest before. Now this is 636. That's that's not and that's a decrease, not an increase. The other one was an increase. This is a decrease. I I don't know how the figure can be right actually. That's that's the way I look at it, but we'll see. All right, let's, we're going to have Norm Winsky on at the break here in about a half uh, in about 15 minutes to let him finish his show because we're in the middle of Hanukkah and we're also starting Christmas, so all that's really good. Let's take a quick look here at the gold because we've been talking about that. Uh, for quite a bit. Let's, I hope I put, put this gold up here. Where did I put it? Please put the gold up here. Oh, it must be the Christmas holidays. I think this is it. Yeah, there we go. Let's get up here because I wanted to show you we were waiting for this gold. We got almost to the exact price. Get this up here of um, 14, uh, nine, uh, for 1500. You'll see that's the, the ABCD entered at 1496. We had a high of 1497. So we should have a little bit of a correction here in the gold market. Now, we've broken out above the highs of the uh, of December. We had a high in December, 1490, December 12th, uh, 1492, and we, today's was 1496. And uh, guess what? We are up uh, almost exactly 34. In fact, we're up $34, exactly 14 
and almost 14.99 was a 34 dollar harmonic trading um Tom, uh, Tom, Tom is not uh, trading all during the holidays, uh, and so we'll see. Uh, okay, we'll take a look at. <laughs> okay, well, all I, you know, folks, I don't know the answer to the open interest figure, but you're going to find out the answer to the open interest figure. Uh, it's going to be very, very interesting. I've never seen numbers that big. I remember the numbers were really big when gold was at 1932 in August of 2011. We were in Hong Kong. I was being interviewed by the. Uh, 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 Eastern edition of the Wall Street Journal, and I was saying this is probably going to be a pretty big high in the in the gold, and we said somewhere above 1900, and 1932 was a little above that. But this is this is an ungodly number, folks, and you're not going to see it anywhere unless you you follow open interest. I mean, most technicians don't even pay any attention to it. The only reason I do is when markets are making new highs or new lows. I want to see if there's new buyers or new sellers coming in here. Uh, Peter Brandt makes a living off these uh, off these numbers, so uh, you know his service is quite expensive. But I'm sure he'll be talking about it. But most others won't. Those of you who have information on that, I would be nice to hear you post it into TFNN, because I think it would be very very important. Uh, regarding the silver, if you look at your silver charts very closely, uh, you'll see that the silver made a beautiful uh, number up there. Uh, it was a th the the silver number. Take take a look. I know Mr. Z will be looking at that, but watch the silver, because the silver made a exact 382 retracement of the high when we hit that number last night at uh, 1771 and a half. So uh, that might be interesting. I don't know, but let's pay uh, sort of close attention to it because it could be a very very interesting. Now. There's one other chart that I want to focus here for us, and that is comes from our good friend Jim Bartolioni over at V50 uh, Partners. Hold on, get this up here, and we'll take a look at it, and we'll be able to see you right, Gator. That's a good quote. <laughs> All right, here's uh, this is going back to October of '74. That was the first bottom. Remember, in 1974, we had a double bottom, one in October. That was the end of the crash. December was a retest of that low. The Dow was right around 500, I recall. We had gone from 1,070 down to 500. And from that level, we have gone to uh, 28,000. So that was a major low. That was the one that really, when we started looking at astrology, it told me that we have something really important. But as Jim points out here, uh, we're up here at this ABCD number, but look how you're getting a uh, de de decrease in the relative strength. You see, that, that tells you that there's something uh, not right. That thing should be going up really strongly, and it's not. But um, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, just bringing that chart to your attention and reminding you of those lows in October and December. That was the uh, the big crash, October crash of 1974 that uh, allowed me to begin studying the markets through the eyes of Harold McKinley Garley. And I didn't resurface again for about a year, and um, it was a big help to me. But like everything else, it's just the probabilities. That's all we're basing things on. Hopefully, we're going to have Norm Winsky on at the uh, break here when we come up. And then when we get back, I wanted to go over some FANG stocks to show you what I'm seeing. And then one other piece of information about uh, what's coming in the future for technology. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and we've got Norm Winsky on the line. Uh, we had some technical problems yesterday, and so, Norm, uh, why don't you continue on what you're looking at, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there, and a happy holidays to you, and a happy Hanukkah, and a Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thank you. Happy holidays all to you, Larry, and all the folks out there in the Tiger Den and TFN listeners, you know. So go anyway, ahead. I'm going to, because we got interrupted, I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to just start over again. So we, when we, if anybody wants to do it on the, on the, uh, you know, video or YouTube or whatever, they got the whole enchilada, you know? So, okay. So anyway, we got uh, three types of planetary. I'm doing this based on planetary cycles. We have three categories of planetary activity. We have geocentric. That's from the point of view of the earth, heliocentric from the point of view of the sun. And then we also look at for the U.S. financials, your U.S. stocks, T-bonds, and the U.S. dollar. Also look at the uh, what we call the natal chart, U.S. natal chart, based on where the planets were on July the 4th, 1776, and compare where the planets are now to those planets. I know it sounds crazy, but guess what? It works very well. All right, so uh, we have the, uh, you might want to take a screenshot of the charts I'm going to review now, the cycles and Charts are going to review based at the top of the page one here. And we first we're going to look at, uh, well, I have the charts in alphabetical order. Uh, and uh, so we have the full moon there. And so we're going to round up our usual suspects, financials, grains, precious metals, and stocks. Then we have a big a cluster of U.S. aspects, U.S. planetary activity. And then down here we have a very important uh, Jupiter 120 to Uranus, which occurred both by geocentric uh, on the 13th. And then this is just after uh, all this happened, just after I was on your show last on the 10th of December, other than a brief uh, appearance yesterday's show with the, where we had the problems. You know, right? So anyway, and we're reviewing these, and the, the, this is relevant to what just happened because we had the heliocentric version of Jupiter 120 to Uranus over this past weekend. So we'll be looking at those markets too. So it's sort of a two-pronged thing on that uh, cycle. So there we go. And then we had another big uh, thing with the uh, to the U.S. chart. All right, let's go look at the markets. Uh, now, uh, cattle, you might guess, if you know your signs of Zodiac, and uh, there's uh, something called Taurus the Bull. 
And you might guess that that has something to do with cattle, then you'd be right. So Jupiter was in Capricorn. Uranus is in Taurus, the bull. And so we want to look for a change in trend in cattle. We have a two-pronged thing here. I did not update, did not have time to update these charts last night. I'm on a deadline now. And so I had, we're going to just do this like we were going to do it yesterday. Uh, cattle made a top right there. Bingo, bango on the 13th uh, with the geocentric Jupiter trying Uranus. And we came down into the weekend, this past weekend, and uh, it should be making a low now. It should have been making a low yesterday. If it did not, uh, then uh, if it doesn't turn today, uh, then it's probably forget about it, you know. But it should have made, been making a probably a low here in the last day or so. Coffee is Capricorn. And here's, I showed you an interesting study yesterday. I apologize if there's any re repetition for anybody. And I showed how when heliocentric Jupiter, that only, this only occurs every 11 and a half years, when in the Capricorn back on the uh, 18th of October, that was one day off of the low. And we lose the low price of the day that Jupiter went in Capricorn, not the low price, low, low price, which was the day before, but the price that occurred on the day that Jupiter went in the Capricorn, that was 96.05 on your March contract. And then we look at when geocentric Jupiter went in the Capricorn on, on the late on the second or on the going to use the third, which was uh, the next day, because uh, it was mostly it was late in the day. Uh, look at that high and where we were looking for a turn, it did not turn there, it accelerated. But if we take the difference between the high there on the second of the third of December and the low on the 18th of October, you get 28.7. Take 1.618 times that. I believe you get uh, within three cents of the high on the uh, three little pennies, not not big pennies. Uh, so that we get the high was 142.45. Your calculation, I think, comes out to 142.48. So that's pretty good. So that's you know there we go. So very very close on a, using the. Uh, this goes back to uh, one of my principles is that the key types give you the key prices. So we can combine Fibonacci with the Astro stuff. <coughs> to give you a very nice, accurate uh, projection there on the high price, right? And this was near the Jupiter trine Uranus, and Jupiter is in Capricorn. So anything with de dealing with Jupiter and Capricorn it might be a, a, is a possible change in trend for coffee. Moving on ahead here now, we got copper. Here's another Jupiter Uranus market because the copper is has Uranus as its ruling planet. And there we made a top there on the 13th with the first geocentric Jupiter 120 Uranus. And then we had a retest over here. And so I think we're probably uh, should have made a top here uh, over the weekend or on Monday, you know, on the, with the Jupiter Uranus aspect. Here's corn. Now we're going to look at the moon for the grains. And look at that, right, on the full moon. Bingo, bango. If you bought the opening there on the, the, the moon, was the night of the 11th, and if they bought the next day's opening, you've been buying very, very close to the low, and then I think you would have been a happy camper. Here's cotton that comes under Taurus, like the cattle. Uh, it did not do uh, only marginally profitable there. If you sold there, you would have made a little bit of money over the next several days. Uh, that's it. Not all these are perfect, you know. Believe it or not, Larry. And here's gold had a spike high there. You would have had trouble though. Unless you got real lucky to sell the sell the top there, you probably would have sold the opening, and that was also marginally, uh, possibly marginally profitable on the gold. By the way, notice gold's been moving up here, and I'll be talking about this in a few moments. But we do have a new moon solar eclipse coming uh, the night of uh, uh, the 25th uh, into the 26th early wee hours. And so you'll be looking for your press bundles and greens and financials to possibly make a turn at that time. OJ has been dancing to the moon nicely lately, and there you go. You're on a nice stop there for the OJ. Uh, Billy Ray asked me to include the OJ uh, on this presentation, Larry. Billy Ray Valentine, you know. Yeah, Here's uh, silver. Good moving up. Uh, it did not work so well. It, it not The gold was marginally profitable, maybe. And this is definitely a loser, so I gave that a red arrow. Green arrows are good. Red arrow is bad. Here's soybeans made a nice pullback into the moon. And if you bought there, you would have been a happy camper. 
Here's Martin. The wheat was even better. Look at that nice decline into the moon. And you would have been buying right on the low there if you bought on the moon back on the night of the uh, early morning of the 12th. All right, moving on ahead here. Here's your stock market. We had the moon there. And it actually had a couple things going on there for the overnight between the 11th and the 12th. Uh, that worked well. We got into the, over here, though. The market just kept going higher, didn't care about the planets. And so they had all these red arrows here for misses. But the bonds were beautiful. They kind of made up for the stocks, I guess, for taking a break. So we'll be right back. Right. Norm Winsky, you're right. Norm, we got to pay a few bills, my friend. All right. See you soon. 877 Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, back, folks, and we have Norm Winsky on the line. Norm, you want to continue? Yes, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> so uh, we uh, left off with the T-bonds there. As you can see, the T-bonds. We're nearly perfect. We uh, it rallied into the full moon, had a nice decline. Then I had another signal based on the U.S. natal chart. The T bonds, that's one of the factors for the T bonds, the U.S. natal chart. We made a low there, and we popped up, and I had a big cluster there on the uh, over the weekend of the 13th for one, two, three, four different things, and that was a nice little top there, and that worked very well. The dollar, not so good. Uh, so, so, so on the dollar. 
Uh, we made a, uh, a full moon low there on the dollar, and also there on we had a signal there for the uh, night of the 12th, and then I had a big cluster there for the over the weekend of the 13th, and uh, that was we kind of missed the train there. The train kind of pulled out of the station for a low, and so that didn't work out. So there we go. All right, now I'm going to show you my planetary index. It's kind of my version of the Bradley model uh, that I do weeks in advance of the month. Here, this is for December. Started on Monday the 2nd, running through this week, uh, the end of this week. I'm going to show you this, and there you go. I, I put major planetary events on there, like your full moon. There's your solar eclipse coming up here in a, in a couple of day or two. And Mercury at zero latitude is another big thing for me. And you can see here I drew this blue line ahead of the month and for the whole month. And so far, tracking pretty well on this model. I had two models that are tracking well. And the other one was the next one where I allow for inversions, which uh, often occur when the planets either go uh, direct retrograde or when a planet gets to zero latitude. There you see the red arrow there for a possible inversion. And looking for a possible top here on Monday and so far. I think the highest, though we only had a half, about a half a day, uh, one day trading past that, uh, but uh, we got a possible top uh, due here on yesterday. You know, right? So there we go. See if this thing turns down or not. You know, right? Uh, like it would be in line with your open interest uh, analysis there, Larry. Okay. All right. I do that. Uh, but again, I do this uh, a couple of weeks ahead of the month. You know, I was doing this blue line back in November. So I think I think it's pretty amazing. And not because of me. I just add up the numbers, you know. All right. Here's the, my fractal model. This requires no advanced mathematics. It's very simple. Everything I do is grade school level or I couldn't do it. Uh, I take the price action for January, extrapolate it out for the year. And that's the blue bars, and look at that. It's working out pretty well, nicely for the S&P. says we should be making a top here, right? Right, right in the, uh, you know, just uh, right around this time right now and for a little bit of a pullback into the end of the year, the last few days of the year. All right, there we go. Here's looking ahead. Here's looking at, here's looking at you, Larry. Thanks for <laughs> Casablanca, huh? All right, we got the, uh, we, this is, uh, oh, yeah, the, over the weekend here, well, Friday, we uh, Thursday, I guess that was Thursday, and Mercury at South Latitude, I just covered that on the planetary index. Watch for a possible turn within one trading day. That might have spilled over into Monday, corn, oats, soybeans, stocks, and wheat. And then we have a thing to the U.S. natal chart for the U.S. stocks, T-bonds, and dollar for into uh uh, uh, into Friday, this past Friday, and then over the weekend we had again the heliocentric Jupiter 120 to Uranus, and that's going to be cattle, copper, cotton, oats, and stocks. Watch for a change of trend in those markets. And then again, we also had uh, heliocentric, that's from the point of view of the sun, Mars entering Scorpio, that's a change in trend for your cocoa hogs, stocks, and T bonds. And then coming up here after the close of today. We have a, uh, yeah, we have the solar eclipse in Capricorn. Capricorn, we were going for route before any kind of new moon. That's what a, a solar eclipse is a special type of new moon. Round up the usual suspects, financials, grains, precious metals, stocks, and coffee. And I, as because it's in Capricorn, we got to run a special on coffee. Here's two markets I didn't cover in the review. So we'll look ahead. These charts were all done Sunday night. Didn't have time to update them last night so you'll have to go look and see how they're doing as of yesterday on the close but the cocoa was coming down 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 <coughs> and so uh, we had a I think that was on our list here for yeah there we go because the heliocentric mars went in the scorpio over the weekend could be making a low here on the cocoa and the hogs are going up 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 so look for a possible top as of yesterday for the hogs there's the T-bonds also, a Scorpio-related market. And so they're kind of in the middle here. I'm not thrilled. It was based on Sunday night's price action, unless they came down sharply on Monday. And to make a low, I'm not thrilled about I don't like to do the middle. It's a Newton's law, you know, for every action, opposite equal reaction. And if a market goes sideways, you're not going to, can't expect much of a reaction. 
All right, so here's how you can get a hold of me and get free letters, free classes, and uh, free coaching, everything. Uh, it's all all potentially free. If you just contact me, here I am, Norm Winsky in sunny Naples, Florida, 239-594-3939. There's my email. It's a long one. You might want to copy and paste that or something. And there's my Skype, and Winsky, N-W-I-N-S-K-I underscore digit one. And want to wish everybody a happy holidays, happy new year. And we got huge, I've been working on January, Larry, and we got some huge fireworks coming up in the first part of January. So hopefully you'll like to have me back on and I'll tell you all about that in, the, in uh, ahead of the, right around the next the moon, which is going to be a lunar eclipse, you know, Larry, that's, that's mm -hmm. that, the stock market. Uh, that does not like, as I've said many times, the lunar eclipse. Stock market does not like lunar eclipses, so usually we get a big correction right around a lunar eclipse, you know. What day is that, Norm? That's going to be on the 10th. Okay. Two days after Elvis's birthday. Listen, thanks for joining us, and I don't know if we'll be able to have you on every day next month, but we're certainly going to have you on in early January. How's that? That sounds great. If you can have me on just ahead of the moon there, I'll be uh, happy and happy to share uh, what I have. we got huge stuff. I, I don't want to spoil the spoil the party there by giving away the uh, what we have but uh, it's it's huge Larry. i guarantee mm -hmm. i promise it's mm -hmm. huge not, not okay, just we'll be ready we got a whole big thing <laughs> going on there you know okay all right thanks a lot for well, having me back and uh have a happy holidays and okay. everybody take care have a great a happy new year you know you, you too nor we'll look forward to having you on in january right, and i'll be around here working away all, all this week so day, don't day be shy night, you, day or night you, <laughs> day or night you can contact me day yeah. or night okay? okay all right take care everybody thanks a lot have a great day all right you bet thank you norm winsky of astro trend naples florida and he does have some really great dates and of course he's talking about january and january sometimes can be exciting just like all other months that end in vowels y's r's i's or o's they're all pretty busy, but uh, January sometimes really has some big, big things happening, of course, so we'll, being the month of Capricorn, also the birth date of Billy Ray Valentine. All right, folks, let's move on here. We've got a break coming up here for a second. When we get back, I want to cover the uh, the FANG stocks, and I'll make another couple of quick comments about that open interest number and whether it's any good or not. 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom 
Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, I posted a link that uh, just came across the wires just a little while ago where Russia has disconnected itself from the Internet, the World Wide Web. They're doing their own thing. Don't know too much about it, but there was another program that someone alerted me to about where are we going to be in 20 years from now? And the consensus was everything will be electronically embedded into a chip, like if when you're ready to make a deposit, you touch your left earlobe and on your skin will pop up your balance when your last deposits were, checking your bank account as you go right off of your body. And that'll be the start with the ears, of course, and then it'll move to other parts, but it'll be able to tell everyone where you are, what you're doing, how you're feeling, what you're eating, and where you're living. So if you think Big Brother hasn't arrived then, he will certainly be arrived then at that point instead of now. So that's what we have looking forward to the future. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but maybe it is technically. But fortunately, I will not have to worry about that. I'll leave that to the young people in the room to see whether that's going to be the case. The big thing that I'm worrying about now is I'm looking at that open interest figure in the S&P, folks. If you really like to do this yourself, defy human nature and do the work yourself, call the Chicago Mercantile Exchange today. Probably won't find many people working because the day before Christmas, but uh, I will have that answer for us when we come back on the air the day after Christmas. I will definitely have a correct answer for you if that open interest is correct. If that open interest is correct, folks, I will happily say that we are within days of the end of this bull market, and I don't know if I'll ever see another high like this one before, but if these interest, open interest uh, figures are correct, the, the buyers, the, <laughs> it's, tr it's troublesome, folks. All you have to do is go back and see how major tops were made. Look what happened to the bonds, folks. Do you remember where we were back in September and everybody was talking about zero interest rates and the bonds were going crazy and they were trading at 169, they're 155 now, folks. They're down 15 handles. And that was the big tip off there was the open interest in the bonds was dropping, but not like this. Not like this, folks. Folks, this is this is a, this is a number that uh, it should be on the news. I mean, but you know, because it's technical, it probably doesn't you know mean very much. But uh, anyway, anyway, that's what I'm taking an eye on is looking at some of these things. Let's take a quick look at where we are here with the silver because we're because we're really approaching something really big in the silver market. Let's get it up here. May 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 or may not mean anything. It you know this is the thing is we have to do these things here to see what's going on here. The market's closed close at 1 o'clock today, so there's only uh, three more hours of trading. But you'll notice here the uh, 1776, believe it or not, that's the actual number of the 382 retracement in the silver. So watch the silver, because if we close above 1776 in the silver and above 1500 in the the, the gold, that's going to be a sign of a pretty a significant pattern completion and also a potential breakout. So we really knew we really have to watch that. Okay, now let's take a quick look at the FANG stocks because I think they're important to look at. Uh, we'll do them one at a time. This will be quick. 
folks. We don't have to worry too much. Here's the big daddy rabbit in the group. This is Apple, and you'll be able to see here we have uh, the, the volume on this move here these last five days in Apple has been something off the charts. Uh, it, it's just huge, huge number of uh, shares up there, 20 million shares or something like that. Some ridiculous, uh, some ridiculous number for Apple. If you'll notice here, we have a potential uh, double top here in Mr. Zuckerberg's uh, Facebook. You'll see that's uh, almost a double top from where we were back in uh, July. And the next one we want to take a quick look at here is the uh, uh, Amazon, which is the, the the weak sister of the whole group here. Let's get it up so you can take a look at it. And you think this would be the busiest time of the year for Amazon. And yet you can see that we're almost at a – there's a head and shoulders pattern, too, that has just formed here, folks. You can see the uh, two, three, eight, two creations, and now we're at lower right-hand shoulder. This is a – this is, could be quite negative to Amazon if it starts to break. Anything below 1,700 whew, sets up a 200-point drop in Amazon. So whether that's going to be uh, – see what's going on. I don't know the answer to those folks' question. I don't – you know, folks, someone asked me about the politics involved. Look. I don't know anything about politics, never have, never had any interest to it, but we have somebody on this program as our guest, and that's Bill Cerubi, Bill Meridian, you know, Cycles Research, and he looks at Trump's chart, his astrological chart, and he didn't think there's any way that he's going to be leaving office soon. He might be leaving office in November, but he didn't think he's going to be impeached. If he is, he, he probably would be like uh, uh, Clinton, impeached, but still in office. You'll notice that we have a big ABCD completion at the one thing. 0.27. We've been at the 1.27 expansion, folks, for two weeks in Google, all during this big rise in stocks. So the FANG stocks have certainly slowed down with the exception of the uh, of the Apple, which moved in. And this other one, which is the, uh, we'll take a look here at the uh, Netflix. And you'll see Netflix is setting exactly at the 61% retrace within one dollar and so all of those are saying that yes there might be a little bit of technical in indication that they might be ready to uh, rolling over but whether that happens or not you know remains to be seen we don't know whether that's going to be correct or not so that's the main thing we're talking about Tim Bost has got an inflection time today uh, at uh, 12 21 that'll be in a be quite a while three hours from now so watch it uh, with a probability of 50 1% closing higher. So that is what we call a coin toss. And uh, that's as good as anything else because you can make money off of coin tosses, especially if you have a double-headed coin. That's the real key. Now, we have to look at one other one that I think is relatively important, and that is the banking index. Uh, we get this information from some of our friends out there in the Valley. Let's get this up here to take a quick look at it. Here's the banking index. You'll notice we completed the ABCD up here. We've been here for seven days in this 113, 114 level. Uh, that's a you know big ABCD. And so whether that's going to be popping through to the upside, I don't know. But you would think, given the fact that interest rates have started to go higher instead of lower, the banks would be making more money, not less. But that's not what's happening right now. The market is moving in the direction of uh, higher, but it's been stalled here now for seven days. It's just been a few stocks has been running this thing, and uh, they have been running it relatively well. So we'll pay close attention. Folks, I hate to be uh, uh, break, talking about a broken record, but there's only one thing that we need to watch right now, and that's the open interest in these stock indices. Because if this is correct, and if this is correct, then look out. Let me just give you an example of what – well, never mind. Let's get over here and tech, talk a little bit about the bit because the bit has held uh, – the Bitcoin, we've held a major low here in Bitcoin. That was just a tad – that low we made down there at 6,400 was just a tad below the 61 percent retracement of the whole move. And if you looked at it on a logarithmic scale, it was a 38 percent retracement off of 19,000. So – very important low there at 6,400 in Bitcoin. We're trading uh, quite a bit above that right now, so we need to watch it very closely. Uh, people say that it's not really about cryptocurrencies. It's about blockchain. And when you hear the stuff like what the government wants to do, looking over our shoulder with, uh, you know, uh, all these things with uh, 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 these DNA testing places and stuff, boy, they're, they're really going to uh, do everything. They're going to get away with – they're going to get uh, – give – <laughs> do away with cash. That's one of the things that they've had plans for us. 
then planting a chip into our earlobe or in our arm or something and tell us exactly where we are. So who knows? Just be careful, folks. What the government takes... I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, I'm going to give you, uh, by the way, I'm going to do my very best to have uh, Bill Meridian on next week. Uh, if not, it'll be right after the uh, first of the year for sure. For sure, he's been traveling a bit because of the holidays, but I would definitely have Bill on. He's a good friend and certainly has great information. I want you to take a look here, folks. This is the weekly chart of gold. I want you to look here in August of uh, of uh, August of 2000 and. Uh, 11, we were making a high in gold. It happened to be in Hong Kong during that time. But I want you to see that the 1930, the actual high, it was 1932 was the actual high in the gold. And uh, look what happened. It went from 1900, okay, in four weeks, it dropped from 1900 to 1500. It dropped $400 an ounce uh, with open interest dropping. You see, you see that, that big run up there, folks? That means the buyers are leaving the market. Now, if that is not going to be the case, and who knows? Merry, a Merry Christmas to you and Lynn Marshall and to everybody here uh, in 
of the show. I'm going to take these last few minutes to thank everybody here at TFNN. It's really fun to, uh, you know, to be here and share information. And the smart guys that are in this den, you know, you know who you are, a really great group of people giving some really good information. We have some fun guests on, but uh, we just tried to do our best to help you. We want to thank the O'Brien family for certainly keeping this thing moving because it's a great source of information. Much night. In a lot of these places, you know, people toot their own horns, and that's not the way it is here at TFNN. It's all about sharing information. Some of it's good. Some of it doesn't work. But, hell, that's like everything else. Who knows? That's uh, that's the way it goes. But anyway, that's the main thing. And have a wonderful Christmas to everybody and try to help somebody that really needs it today, folks. You see these people out on the streets, and no, not, they don't even have heat, let alone food. You know, that's uh, that's really uh, – it's really bad news. So try Try to give them a little boost if you can. And if you can't, say a prayer for them. You know, what the heck? You know, everybody needs a little help from upstairs, that's for sure. So I want to wish everybody a wonderful, happy holiday for Christmas or whatever holiday you have. And we'll see you folks, not tomorrow, because tomorrow we will be praying and opening gifts. But we'll see you all on Thursday, 877-927-6648. And may God bless.